right, thanks so much, Evan. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. All month long, we've been sharing stories of breast cancer oh. survivors to raise awareness. This morning, Prem Tews Rose Bell is joining us, but unfortunately, a guest that we had planned to have on is not joining us this morning. Yeah, absolutely, Brittany. So um, as we were saying, as you intro, community support, advocacy is essential. Um, Linda uh, Churchill okay, Gordon, she was supposed okay. to be here this morning, um, but unfortunately, um, her cancer is back. Um, she's not sure of the severity of it, but I'm going to go back a little bit about when she was diagnosed three years ago. Uh, she was 50 years old. She did all the right things. She had a family history. Um, she got tested for the gene. She, What's the second um, VO? She was very regular with her mammogram. She had a lump removed when she was 28 years old. So the big takeaway okay. when she was 50 and had uh, okay. a new lump appear, and just she, something wasn't right. She goes so. to the doctors. Um, she does, you know, has all her routine, routine testing, um, and it tests negative for breast cancer. Um, but it didn't sit well. She went to another doctor. And an another takeaway is having a doctor that you feel comfortable and talking with. Because she didn't they quite have that centered. relationship mm -hmm. with that first doctor. Um, but so she did go to another specialist that she was seeing she for another medical-related yeah. issue. She was diagnosed with uh, DCIS, which is the most common type of breast cancer. However, the reoccurrence so rate is very okay. high. Mm -hmm. So here we are today um, with this um, her situation which is really sad um, she's a sweet lady she was very excited about showing up today she got her hair done mm -hmm. um, okay. yeah it's it's she's a nice lady and she agreed to let me still share her story sure. even though she wasn't up to uh, talking uh, about um, her situation today. So why do you think it's important to share her story this morning? So well, a, a number of reasons. Again, being an advocate for yourself, she knew her body. Mm -hmm. She trusted herself. And that's not to say, you know, sometimes, you know, doctors, so we're all human. Tests are not always accurate, sure. unfortunately. But trust yourself. Trust your gut instincts. Um, men as well. You know, it's just just knowing she knew that. So that yeah. pretty much saved her Michael's life. And even this time around, she had said to me last Somber week when music. she was going in for the test, yeah, like, five. Rose, yeah. I'm just not feeling good. She knew again ab about, you know, that this could be a chance Stand of it returning. Seven. So which mm -hmm. is why when cancers talk okay. about their survival rate, um, you know, they're 10 years out, mm -hmm. it's Stand really a big deal. Because yeah. this is three years out and... Um, you know, what she thought would have been a celebration is now. So something, hopefully Thanks. that um, Stand by seven. it's, you know, we don't know yet, but hopefully it's, they'll be able to treat it. So we're certainly sending our best wishes her way. I yeah. mean, before we wrap up here, any advice for folks who maybe are feeling that themselves? Stand by five. I mean, what are some certain things you can do, questions you can make sure to ask? Sure. That. And okay. any, I mean, I hate to say any good doctor, but it's true. A doctor wants you to get a second opinion. They'll be up front because they want you to know, they want you to have peace of mind as mm -hmm. well. So if you're in a situation, you feel like, you know, maybe you're exaggerating or you feel like you're being questioned on your gut instinct. I mean, a good doctor will tell you to get a, a, a second opinion. And then, you know, whether change doctors or um, see a new doctor. But okay. yeah. Well, thanks for sharing her story this yeah. morning, Rose. We appreciate it. Yeah, she's watching. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Thanks for letting us share your story yeah. this morning. It is coming up Stand on 750 on this music. Tuesday. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Crime 2 Morning Two, News. Two, one, fade, rolls.